Right, the purpose of this demonstration is to show how to install a 10 millimeter diameter threaded stud into a concrete block using FIS V Fisher Injection System V standing for Vinyl Ester Chemical. So what you will need obviously is the concrete block, 10 millimeter stud, for a 10 millimeter stud we use a 12 millimeter drill bit, high performance drill, the chemical itself FISV, a mixer nozzle, the application gun, and then for cleaning the hole we need what's called a blowout bulb and a brush. So, installation is very, very simple and very straightforward. We will first drill the hole in the concrete. Now, when you are setting anchors in concrete, be very, very sure to set them according to the positions shown on the engineer's drawings. If there is any doubt, please consult the engineer. It can be potentially dangerous if anchors are set too close to the edge of the concrete or if they're too close to each other. Watch that. Always work according to the drawings. Right, so we're going to drill the hole. Now the most important component or the most imp the critical area in fixing the chemical anchor is to make sure that the hole is clean. And by cleaning the hole what you have to do is blow it out, brush it and then blow it again. We're done with the drill for now. So blowing it out. Then brush, then blow once more. Very, very important to make sure that this part of this operation is, is done correctly. Right, so now we are ready for the chemical. The Chemical always comes in two parts and we use what's called a mixing nozzle to mix the two components. And the objective of the nozzle or the purpose of the nozzle is to make sure that the two components are mixed in exactly the correct proportions. So we'll install it in the gun and then Prior to, we're going to fill the hole about two-thirds, but prior to doing that, what you need to do is give it a few squirts and make sure that when, once the color is uniform, then you can inject it in, into the hole. Because they're two separate colors, two separate components. They're starting to mix in the nozzle, as you can see. And that's a fairly uniform color. That's good. So we can inject As a rule, you normally will fill the hole two-thirds. Every Fisher product, every Fisher chemical does have graduations on the cartridge, so you can calculate exactly how many squeezes of the trigger for each size, for each hole, depending on the size of the hole and the depth of the hole. Very, very important also to make sure that the hole is drilled to the specified depth. The other thing is you can only use these mixing nozzles once because the chemical is going to start to sit inside there. So if you have a number of holes, drill all the holes first, then come and apply the chemicals because this, this chemical will sit in about the next 10 minutes or so. I've only done the one. I take the threaded stud 
can simply screw it in to the specified depth. And that is that. Once the chemical is inserted, once you've finished, you can remove the nozzle and replace the cap. So the chemicals in here are still fine. They only start activating once they are mixed in the nozzle. So you can keep this. It's got a, all of these chemicals do have expiry dates on them. And that is the installation of the injection mortar.